Max here again, and as you see, we have the very famous star from the last video. Jasmine is back for another video. She's visiting Tokyo because, well, I don't know. Are you visiting? Are you living here? Or? Figuring it out. <laughs> visiting for now, temporarily. Yes. Anyway, the video that we uploaded a few weeks ago uh, has hit my number one most video on this channel, why, which is insane. Why? You ended up meeting also Tiffany uh, yeah. and filmed the video with her. So yeah, we did. Tiffany, we did. if you guys remember, we had a video with her where we talked about her experience growing up, born and raised here in Ibaraki. You should definitely check out her channel or uh, when the video comes out, it's talking more about their experience as Nihon Sodachi jeans. <laughs> Question mark. So, okay, so the video that I've uploaded with you, I put foreigner in quotation marks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that was like by design because in Japan, you can, if you're born in Japan, it doesn't automatically guarantee your citizenship. And this is basically what the video is going to be about today. We kind of want to respond to a lot of the comments that we received. But before we get into it, just I wanted to say to like thank you guys for all the love and all the comments and this is a brand new experience for me but it's been very positive thanks to you all so big thank you just wanted to put that out there first. Sweet. Awesome. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Gosh these cicadas are so loud. I apologize guys this is summer we just got rained like heavily on and now all the bugs are out. Yeah. <laughs> but we're gonna do this anyway. Anyone else notice how her accent changed from American sounding to English sounding when she spoke about her mom? Yeah. What is your accent? Well my parents would like me to say British mm -hmm. because that's how they raised me. Okay. But I left home a while ago and I think um, I met so many people that I'm just assimilating from. Right. And that's probably why it's now mixed into a global accent. Yeah, global accent. <laughs> well, this is like the third culture kid experience, which is you go to somewhere else or you meet other people from other countries and you just start to adopt other accents or languages. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Wait, you have to say what? Say water? Yeah, of course I say water. Okay, okay. W say, what about no? No. What? Just a while ago you said like, no. Nah, <laughs> no. I don't know. You, I don't some, know. Because somebody said like you had an Australian accent. Yeah, now see, like, I assimilate anything I think that sounds nice. So it's like, <laughs> well, I, I think that sounds nice. So I'll just That's incorporate it into my language. You know? She's assimilating. <laughs> anyway, Jasmine uh, went more into this uh, topic on her channel. Check it out. Good. Please put it in my in the description. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll do that. Don't worry, channel. don't worry. <laughs> so I screenshotted some comments that I just thought were like stupid. Uh -huh. So this one says, uh, she don't look Japanese. Oh, really though? <laughs> do I not? I try so hard. Well, Damn it. But this goes, <laughs> she don't look Japanese. It's like, did you watch the video? <laughs> so this goes into actually our next topic. There's a lot of people that said, well, she's Japanese then. She's not English at all. She's got heritage that is English, but she's still Japanese. And then you had some people that said, you are a product of where you were raised. She's 100% Japanese. And then some people say, it's interesting. She was born there. Japanese is her native language, but she will never be Japanese. She is still English, doesn't matter if she was born and raised in Japan, she will never be Japanese. <laughs> born there, yet the Japanese will never consider her Japanese. Mm. <laughs> hmm. Well, Do you say I'm Japanese? Just see, like now this I talked about with Tiffany as well, but like, I've never called myself Japanese because none of the Japanese consider me Japanese. You even say when you're younger, people point at you and be like, Yeah, like, oh, gaijin ya. Gaijin. <laughs> yeah, so literally like, this is my home country, this is where I was raised, but I was raised here being the foreigner. I've never once considered myself to be Japanese. But on the other hand, like, my nationality is English. I have no citizenship in Japan. I have permanent residence, thank goodness, but no citizenship, so I have no voting yeah. rights, etc., etc. So then again, like, even more reason why I can't really claim to be Japanese, but I don't know anything about England either. The only thing I know about England is what I hear from people, my parents, my English friends, people who have visited the UK. Have you lived in the UK or England? No. You visited? I visited, but the last time I visited was three years ago for five days. And before oh, that, yeah. I hadn't been back for 18 years. Jeez. Yeah, <laughs> so, so I really don't know anything right. You're, about England. It's like the Asian American experience, although it's for you, it's like the English Japanese experience. Yeah. Asian American experience would be like me or somebody who's like, I mean, obviously I live in Japan, but there's a lot of Japanese Americans or maybe Chinese American, Korean American who's, they've visited Korea, Japan, China, 
but haven't been back in like 18 years. They would say I'm American. It's validated by the fact that there's a lot of other people like them and that they can actually get American citizenship mm -hmm. yeah. just by being born in the US. Yeah. But in Japan, it's not like that. Yeah, unfortunately. If you're born here, you know, Japan is kind of like China. You can only have one citizenship. Even if you start out dual citizen, this is where it's like, if you're half Japanese, you get both and then eventually have to decide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but unfortunately, but, yeah. I'm 100% English blood, and neither of my parents have an ounce of Japanese blood in them, so it's like automatically British. Yeah, it's definitely something that I have debated with and like had my like dark thoughts around and all of this. But at the end of the day, um, it takes it will take a lot more people like us mm -hmm. to really like raise the issue before the government will recognize us as Japanese or like have Japanese citizenship right. but I'm hoping that it will slowly change towards that. Finally,日本人にもなれる時間が必要と言ってくれて嬉しいです。このように海外にルーツがある日本育ちの人が少しずつ見られるようになりましたが、日本人も一緒に成長したり、同じ時間を過ごすことで少しずつ日本人の意識
most of the time I'm faking it until I make it. But <laughs> it's literally because as a 15 year old, being affected by these beautiful, tall women, I was given so much confidence that now as a grown up, I'm hoping that there are other like tall girls, tall kids out there who are like, oh, okay, like it's okay to be tall. Mm -hmm. Because there have been like Japanese girls who are like not that tall, they're like taller, but like, probably like what you said in the West would be considered a, like a really nice height. Mm. I think I'm still a little bit too tall for that <laughs> reckon, but, but these girls have like come to me and been like, don't you just hate being so tall? <laughs> but like they definitely had the conversation with me of like, well, this is a body you, you have. So like, why not try and love it the mm. best you can? They told me that they were given like, uh, like um, confidence, the fact that a, there's someone taller than them, which I usually am the taller one. And then <laughs> B, the fact that I can like stand tall uh -huh. and be confident with this excess height. Last question. I have one that was for me. I don't know if it's just me, but the way the interviewer acts reminds me of how Mr. Beast acts in interviews. And I just found out they're both from North Carolina. I guess I exhibit some North Carolina <laughs> behavior. So a couple of our questions were really deep dives, guys, as her conversation about being Japanese or not and also our conversation of the teacher whether or not she was yeah the teacher was a she yeah <laughs> it was not a guy I thought it was a guy this whole time whether the Japanese teacher who said who was shocked that Jasmine was number one in her Japanese class uh, these conversations were a little bit longer so go to her channel to make sure to see the continuation of the full conversation there <laughs> Arigatouzaimasu. thanks for watching and we'll see you in another video yeah! Bye! Bye!